Yeah, I got a little go-kart in front of me here. Uh, 1800 watt electric go-kart I picked up off eBay. This is a typical 1800 watt go-kart that you can find on eBay or Amazon and that. Bought this for my son which is sitting in it. If anybody's curious I want to put a video up just showing this go-kart and what it's capable of. How long have we had it buddy? I don't know. Like two months now? And we've run it through the ropes. The only things that we've really experienced wrong is some wiring here and there which you would see I got some the charging cable. I had to fabricate that. That was a little bit short. A little bit of wiring up in the front under this web. The splice had come off. That was a problem. And then that stuff was flying in. And then stuff was flying in. We'll get to that. But the battery boxes uh, inside, there's four there's screws just holding them on terminal, turning into 24 volts each box. And them terminals came unscrewed. And then the one last one, this shock's the original one. Well, they both are original. But I heated this one up because they're so stiff. But now, with them heated up, lost some of its spring. And it gives a good uh, good ride, right, buddy? Brake-wise, brakes are awesome on these. Disc brakes with pads, them work good. And right there is the 1800-watt motor. Chain is covered with the cover on it but motor seems to do incredibly well with this thing it's geared just right and then you got your key switch your, your battery indicator and you got your reverse neutral forward and then your low medium and high we got a lot of hills and he just tends to stay on low you put on high this thing's a rocket but a, a, a great seat and he's got the seat all the way forward and we still have him in a pillow so this has got plenty of room for older kids he's gonna be seven well you gonna be seven in in December right buddy mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is test this out I'm gonna put a camera on the go-kart and I'll hold the camera and we're gonna do some test runs just to show you what it's capable of and how well it climbs hills and everything these tires are four by six I do believe and one last thing the controller if you can see is down right there wiring going to that and you pull the batteries off and then you can get to that quite easily and what buddy and how about like this, this oh yeah and, and we did put some plastic right here because the amount of mud coming up through tends to spray up and coat you a little bit but that was something simple that would probably be the only other issue and how about to um put the seat head in back yeah well we don't need need to show them but we can it's right here pull this clip out and the seat slides back or forward like i said we got all the way forward so let me get the other camera on his go-kart and then I'll film standing here showing you what inclines we're going to use in that but we got us a hill that's a solid 24 degrees up just terribly steep hill and I want you to go straight up that Charlie go matter it's got incredible amount of torque Pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a sit beside you, and we're gonna take my take Shelby's go kart, and we'll see who can get up the steep hill first. All right, I got a hundred and fifty cc GY6 go kart. My 15 year old daughter's on, and then my boy's got the. Uh, 1800 watt electric and we're gonna see who can get up to the top of that little hill there first and your marks get set go pretty close let's go we do it again we should 
one spot. One, two, three, go. <laughs> he got a little jump, but it, it pulls as hard as a modified GY6. Just wanted to show you that. Two, three, go. All right, I got a 2,000 watt off-road scooter, hyper racing scooter, which I'm gonna do a video on that in itself, but we're gonna compare that to the 1,800 watt go-kart. Of course, I'm quite a bit heavier than Charlie, so you gotta take that into consideration, but 2,000 watt scooter versus 1,800 watt go-kart. Scooter on, go-kart's ready. Got our engines revved up, don't we, buddy? Got your engine ready? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Wait a minute. On the count of three, let's see who can get up towards the, and the line up there with that swing first, okay? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go! <laughs> you got just a little bit more torque than I do. All right, come back up. Let's drive around a little bit up here. Don't have to go that fast, buddy. <laughs> Jeez, Jar. You see that stick fly? A stick! Go down by the other side of the house by the dog. So that's the 1800 watt go kart. That thing's awesome, ain't it, buddy? Huh? Real awesome. We are uh, happy we bought it. You still got a lot of battery life, don't you? They're a lot better than what I thought they were and a lot more power. Even Shelby should have my 15 year old, which is how tall are you, Shelby? 5'10? She can get on it. Let her run down the road and back. I want to show them. Right there's 20. She's about 130 pounds.
my, my camera. <clears throat> Day long. Battery lasts for probably two plus hours. Pretty awesome though, ain't it, buddy? Huh? Said you got a full battery yet. You run about, about two and a half hours non-stop with this thing. Front end don't have suspension, but as far as upkeep, not too bad. Like I said, mainly wire connectors and stuff like that is the only thing that goes wrong. That 1800 watt motor is pretty darn robust. It's not it's all dusty. He's been driving it quite a bit lately and it ain't even really that warm. Uh, handles, you're about what, 50 pounds, Char, I think? Handles you no problem. Plenty of horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> 